Hi, I'm Andy Garrison. I joined the Peace Corps because I wanted to do something that wasn't like retirement. Here I can be a real value. I can do something that makes me feel good. I'm in another exciting adventure in my life, which I like a lot. And I get to work with just wonderful people. So when I came to Namibia, I was assigned to Penduka. That's where I am right now. It's a development trust designed to support low-income and disadvantaged women with an emphasis on women with disabilities. The word Penduka means wake up in the local languages. When I first got here, it was very challenging. So I was struggling with how to be useful and how to integrate with the communities. And I realized I needed to just get to know the women so I could help them know how to manage themselves. I usually get up around five o'clock just because it, it works. And I love the mornings because they're quiet. So I'll sit in my house at the computer and do things I need to do just on my own. It's an interesting building. It's made out of recycled bottles with concrete in between them and a big tin roof. I feel like I live in a picture postcard. I truly do. The one given in my day every day is that at eight o'clock when the ladies come to work from Katatura, they sing, they have a prayer, and we have the morning announcements. I have really nice relationships with all of the women here. I can sit and talk to any one of them, the, the 28 women that work right here, because I've gotten to know them very, very well. I work most closely here with Kauna Simon. She's the general manager for all of Penduka. We talk openly. She's become a very good friend of mine. And Kauna's an extraordinary woman. One of the things we spend a lot of time talking about is how do you manage an organization through other people? Because there are three other women she works with, her senior managers, and I try to work with her so she can understand how to get those three women to run Penduco while she sees the bigger picture so that those senior managers can pick up the skills that she's developing and then they can move those down to their supervisors and then down to the women that work here at Penduco. And that takes a lot of trust. It takes a friendship. It takes understanding each other well to be able to talk about some difficult things. That's how you make a difference is through the local people. Panduka is self-sustaining in terms of the women paying themselves, but for adding new capabilities, we use grants. For instance, the electrical costs in Namibia are huge. And the U.S. Embassy has a program called the Ambassador Self-Help Fund. So one of the things that I did was to start working with the U.S. Embassy for a solar project. And now we have solar panels that virtually makes Penduka self-sustaining during high sun for all of our power needs. It saves Penduka about 6000 Namibian dollars a month. The chickens uh, that we use for hens also came from what's called a PCPP or a crowdfunding through the Peace Corps. We now have a whole chicken farm laying eggs at a very good rate and we sell the eggs for money. That program, and we put together a profit and loss statement for it, is becoming self-sustainable as the ladies learn how to run it. People say, what successes have you had? The ones that are easy to measure to me are the ones that aren't as meaningful to me personally. For instance, the solar project. Yeah, that was great and it's made a big financial difference, but that's just doing something. What what feels the best are the little things. It's like the first time I went into the senior managers and they ran the entire meeting themselves. They didn't need training how to do it, but they knew what they needed to do and they just jumped for it and they went for it. And really you have to pardon me here because I'll get a little emotional about this because it, it touches at a really deep level. You see the women ask a question that means they're thinking into the future. I see the managers come in and they're excited because they were able to deal with a personnel issue. It's those small things where you see it coming from the women that, that are the most meaningful to me. And those are, the, those are the thoughts I'll take back with me when I leave here. This is probably the favorite thing I've ever done in my life, to be honest with you, for something that touches in here. 
Um, I'm never going to forget this experience of the people that I've met here. 